Some big changes may be coming to who represents you in the General Assembly. It's all due to redrawn legislative districts. WNCT's Josh Birch here with how it could all impact you, Josh. Well, Angela, members of the General Assembly say they're scheduled to meet again in Raleigh, a late August meeting, of course, to vote on possibly these new legislative districts tomorrow. And the old districts were ruled unconstitutional by the court because they were based too heavily on race. So for local representatives, New districts mean new constituents. And that is an absolute tragedy. During public hearings yesterday, voters on both sides of the aisle voiced their disapproval with proposed changes to the legislative districts. One of the most impacted, Senate District 3 and Republican Senator Bill Cook. Senator Cook basically lost his whole district except for his home county. Before, Senator Cook represented eight counties, including Beaufort, Hyde, and Dare. But under the changes, he would represent Beaufort, Martin, Bertie, Northampton, Warren, and Vance. You're at about 150 miles, or almost three hours of drive time in the most direct route for a senator to cover his district. Keith Kidwell says the district, as drawn up now, isn't fair to anyone in those counties. So how does a senator who's going to represent Northampton, Warren, and Vance also represent the coastal areas or vice versa. Another challenge, several districts pitting two incumbents against each other for the same seat. One of those is in Wilson County between Democratic Representative Gene Farmer Butterfield and Republican Susan Martin. It is what it is and you have to deal with reality. So if she runs and I run, we will be in a district where either one can win. In a statement, Representative Martin said, quote, I'm praying and discussing the future with my family. New district information will be a part of my decision. Some other notable changes, Senator Lewis Pate loses Pitt County, Representative George Graham loses Craven, Representative John Bell loses Lenore and Craven, but picks up all of Greene County, and Senator Don Davis loses Kinston and Lenore County, but picks up all of Pitt. The courts will either clear or potentially bring us back to the drawing board, or they could actually begin to draw it themselves. Now, these districts were redrawn to eliminate a racial factor, but another thing now to keep an eye on, how much party alignment played in factor into these new districts. So, Angela, still a lot to uh, be determined. So what happens next? There's a lot going on here. Well, they're supposed to meet again tomorrow in Raleigh. They possibly could vote. They possibly could discuss it more. But the courts have given them a September 1st mm -hmm. deadline to get this all finalized. Of course, we're following a case out of Wisconsin, too, that's now heading to the Supreme Court in the fall that could impact the mm -hmm. way legislative districts across the country are actually drawn out. So it may not be over with yet. No. All right. Thank you, Jim.